Guys here from Pax Europeana in front of the Diplomatic Academy. It's another event about Ukraine I will attend now. And that's um, a building, of course, from the time when Austria was in a way a superpower in the European context. Unfortunately, we have been reduced to shambles, <laughs> to neutral shambles. But I'm not somebody who dreams of big power, don't worry, I'm for peace. I'm from Pax Europeana, but I'm just, you know, that we are part of a normal European Union. That would be good, yeah. <laughs> and of a normal member of NATO. <laughs> and not a bridge to anywhere, not to China, not to Iran, not to Russia, and especially not now in 2022. So it's time for Austria to be a normal country, to fully join the Western world, the free world, and join NATO, please, nothing else. Yeah? And together with all the other friends, they also join NATO and EU, and Albania, for example, North Macedonia, Montenegro is already in the EU, and no, in NATO, and in the way to the EU, and we are not in NATO. It's such a kind of absolute bizarre reality. I really cannot stomach this anymore. And I decided now to compare Austria to the Balkan countries. Yeah? <laughs> How come it that <laughs> we have already four of them? Or if you take Romania and Bulgaria, six, yeah? Slovenia, seven <laughs> in NATO and uh, many of them in the EU. But uh, Austria still is somehow the special country. Is it connected to Austrian arrogance, to a special status of Austria? What exactly is the reason for that? I would like to understand that. And I lack any kind of understanding. <laughs> I cannot understand it. And I would like to somehow, if anybody has an explanation, what makes Austria different to Slovenia, to Czech Republic? I mean, we are all part of the same empire. Yeah? We are relatively the same people, like the Germans and the Slovenians, you know, in different regions. We have uh, Croatians and Hungarian minorities, yeah. We have a million new people, mostly from NATO countries. <laughs> so what exactly makes us so special that we are the bridge to Russia? That I cannot understand and that I'm not ready to understand, because there is no reason to understand. <laughs> there is simply no way this can be explained in any meaningful way. Here I am now, and here I call for NATO membership. Bye!